going on guys welcome back and today I'm gonna be doing a quick video here on showing you how to make your own version of Luke Skywalker now um, as many of you know the actual island training set has got a wide release for the Luke Skywalker like old Luke Skywalker minifigure that everyone's been wanting but there is a certain scene at the end of the last Jedi where he goes to the planet crate the salt planet and no spoilers here but he has kind of a black outfit that's similar to his original outfit from Return of the Jedi. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to make that version of Luke. Now, there are multiple ways you can do this, and the only two figures you really need are the Actu Island Training Luke and or the Actu Island Training set for the, the old Luke and the Return of the Jedi, any version of the black Return of the Jedi Luke. So... Let's get started into the parts you're going to need. So, first off, from Act 2 Island Training Luke, um, you're just going to need his head and hair. So you won't need anything else from that version. Now, moving on to this version of Luke, all we're going to need from him, we're not going to need his lightsaber or anything. Um, we're just going to need his torso. Then, moving to Darth Vader. Now, this is optional. So... If you want to make it look like he has a wider robe and like a like a more of like a like a cloak and stuff, if you want like he looks very thin, like Mark Hamill's very thin. So if you want to kind of make keep him looking thin, you can just like leave the cape off. But I think the cape adds something to him. So get a cape from any minifigure. But I took it from Darth Vader because I like the soft cloth capes. Uh, but Palpatine in the transformation set has the same cape, so it doesn't really matter. Now, Darth Maul, so this is where it gets optional again for the leg print. Now, you could just use plain black legs if you don't have any Sith minifigures with leg prints. Now, you could use Darth Vader for this, but I just didn't think his really matched up with the torso. You could use the original plain uh, um, black legs, but I thought it needed some printing. So, what you can do is you can use the General Zod from the Lego Batman movie minifigure series 2, because it has like this silver print I'll show you lines up with the belt so if you want to do that you can do that but I just thought that it simply looked better um, with the robe printing so I went with Darth Maul's legs so we're just gonna get some help from Obi-Wan here and he's gonna help us here there we go thanks Obi-Wan um, so he just helped us get uh, Darth Maul's legs off there but uh, yeah so we're just gonna I'm going to use Darth Maul's legs, so if you don't have Darth Maul's legs and you have Zod, then you can use those. Um, or you can use Darth Vader's, or you can just use the plain black legs from the Return of the Jedi Luke. That's why I say you only really need that minifigure in this one, but if you have these characters, it'll allow you to have a more detailed version. So if you only have the Return of the Jedi Luke and the actual Island Training Luke, you'll just have no leg printing and no cape. But I'm sure you have a black cape in your collection somewhere. So let's build the minifigure. So you're seeing Chewbacca in the background here. I noticed in the scene he has a brown glove. So if you want, you can take one of two's dark brown hands or just a plain light brown hand. Personally, I don't want to wreck my Chewbacca because I just got him last week in the Millennium Falcon Microfighter. So I'm going to keep my Chewie intact. And I think he looks just fine with the black glove. And the last thing you're going to need is the blue lightsaber. So, blue lightsabers come in many sets, and if you're going to be making this minifigure, you're going to need the one from the Actu Island Training, and that set comes with a blue lightsaber, so you can get it there as well. So, we're going to build our minifigure here. I'm going to put him on the stand, and we're going to build our Luke. So, here's his legs, here's his torso, um, so there's the torso on there, we're going to get the cape on, and we're going to put on his head. Now, you can also get some shorter hair, so if you want, you can use the original hair, or you can use the Admiral, or not, uh, Captain, what is it, is it Captain or Admiral Krennic? Um, Officer Krennic from Rogue One, you can use his hair piece, but I just thought, with all of this stuff, the short hair didn't really work. Even though he does have shorter hair in that scene, uh, because you know he's, I guess, spoiler alert for the Last Jedi. Uh, so skip ahead if you don't want to hear the spoiler. 
but he is actually secretly projecting himself on the planet. And if you notice the, you know, the red salts on the planet, you'll notice that he never makes red marks with his feet if you pay close attention. That's because he's actually on his island projecting himself um, on crate. So, stick his head on, and then give him his blue lightsaber. Because, I guess, spoiler alert again, he doesn't actually use his green lightsaber in that scene, he uses the blue one. If you want to make him different and just give him his green lightsaber, you can do that, but this is more accurate. So here is the crate Luke minifigure, my custom one. So this is just, this is not an, like, this is not a necessary customization feature. It's just if you want to have a different version of Luke in your collection, and all you need is the Luke from Return of the Jedi and the Actual and Training Luke. Like I said, you don't need Darth Maul or any of the pig, uh, Sith with leg printing. You just need the Actual Island Training Luke and the Return of the Jedi Luke, really. And if you want to give him a cape, you can. If you don't want him to, like, I'll give you what he looks like without the cape. Which it does make him look a little bit better, so it's whatever look you want for him, really. See, he looks very thin in the scene, like he's very skinny, so if, if you want this look, you can have it like that. Or you can have the cape on. I, I like the cape personally, so I'm going to keep the cape. But, um, yeah, that's just how to make a crate version of Luke from the end of Star Wars The Last Jedi. Which, um, is actually a great movie. I, I, I really enjoyed that movie, especially that scene, um, on crate. That was a really good scene. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to spoil anything else, but it's a really good scene. I definitely recommend seeing the movie. Let me know if sometime you'd like to see a review of the movie. But, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make a crate version of Luke from Star Wars The Last Jedi. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Take care.